Loyal Dog Keeps Climbing This Tree His Surprising Discovery Sheds New Light on Ancient History Last week, a dog made an incredible discovery that changed his owner's life forever. While strolling in the forest with his owner, the dog suddenly sprinted away. It wasn't a typical chase after a bunny or another small creature, though. When the owner finally caught up with the dog, they found him halfway up a tree, and what they discovered up there left the world in awe. Everyone in town couldn't stop talking about Ethan Atwood and his loyal sidekick, Max. These two were practically attached at the hip, always embarking on exciting adventures and stumbling upon the most extraordinary treasures in the strangest locations. Ethan, a young and daring guy, had a strong desire to explore the unknown, while Max, a remarkably smart and spirited shepherd dog, was the ideal companion for their thrilling adventures. Their exciting escapades led them to explore every corner of the country, venturing into thick forests and navigating perilous landscapes. During their expeditions, they had unearthed a collection of extraordinary and mysterious artifacts. Throughout the years, Max had gained quite a name for himself due to his remarkable talent for finding extraordinary things during their adventures. Whether it was stumbling upon a rare mineral during a trip to the mountains of Tibet, or unexpectedly uncovering an ancient gold coin in the local forest of Quebec, Canada, Max seemed to possess an innate ability to detect hidden treasures. During a thrilling cave exploration a few months ago, they stumbled upon an incredibly well-preserved ancient scroll hidden away. These exciting finds gained them a loyal group of fans who eagerly anticipated updates on their latest adventures. They became internet sensations, and their tales of treasure hunting were legendary to their followers. Ethan had a hunch that this journey would be just as exciting, and as they explored further into the forest, he couldn't help but ponder what Max might uncover this time. About an hour into their hike, Max's demeanor abruptly shifted. His ears perked up, and his eyes scanned the area, as if he were trying to locate the origin of a far-off sound. He began to bark in seemingly random directions, clearly focused on something that Ethan couldn't discern. What's gotten into you? Max Ethan asked, concern lacing his voice as he tried to calm his dog from whatever caught his interest. But Max was no longer paying any attention to Ethan, he was completely focused on whatever mysterious force had captured his attention. Does this mean he was on the verge of discovering something extraordinary Ethan thought? He knew that if his dog got a scent of something unique, he should just go with it and follow the intuition of his trusted, four-legged friend. And then suddenly, without warning, Max took off at a sprint, bounding through the underbrush and disappearing from Ethan's view. Max, wait, Ethan yelled, but it was too late. Max was already too far away to hear him. Ethan knew that he couldn't let Max out of his sight, so he took off after him, his backpack bouncing on his shoulders as he navigated the dense forest. The terrain was uneven and full of obstacles, but Ethan was determined not to lose sight of his best friend. As he ran, he could not help but feel a strange sense of anticipation. What could have possibly caught Max's attention so completely? He knew that Max had a knack for finding extraordinary things, but this seemed different somehow. This time, it felt as though the entire forest was alive with a mysterious energy, beckoning them deeper into its heart. The distance between Ethan and Max only grew larger, and as they both continued to run, Ethan began to feel a twinge of fear. He had never seen Max act like this before, and the thought of losing him in this vast wilderness was almost too much to bear. But he couldn't afford to give up now, not when Max needed him most. Ethan's breath came in ragged gasps as he pushed himself to his limits, his legs aching from the strain. The forest was becoming denser, the trees closing in around him and casting eerie shadows on the ground. In the distance, he could just barely make out the figure of Max, now little more than a speck against the backdrop of the forest. With a final burst of energy, Ethan sprinted towards his companion, his heart pounding in his chest. As he drew closer, he realized that Max had stopped at the base of a towering tree, his gaze locked on its highest branches. What is it? Max Ethan panted, barely able to catch his breath as he tried to understand what had caught his dog's attention. The tree was ancient its gnarled bark covered in a thick layer of moss and its enormous roots snaking across the forest floor. Max continued to circle the tree, his tail wagging excitedly as he sniffed at the base of the trunk. At any moment, Max could start digging. That's what Max had done before, and that was probably what he was going to do now. There was something about this tree that was special, and Ethan could feel it too. He pulled out his camera, knowing that their followers on social media would be just as fascinated by this discovery as they were. What could be hidden here? Another golden coin? An old war helmet? Or something even more incredible? As the camera rolled to film the whole thing, Ethan narrated their discovery, watching in amazement as Max prepared to do something he had never seen before. The dog backed away from the tree, his muscles tensing as he prepared to take a running leap. With a powerful surge of energy, Max launched himself towards the tree, his strong legs propelling him upwards. 
Ethan was left speechless as he watched his canine companion scale the massive trunk with ease. He had known that Max was an incredible dog, but this was beyond anything he could have imagined. Their audience watching the live feed was just as astounded, and the chat was filled with a flurry of excited speculation about what could be waiting at the top of the tree. Max continued to climb, his powerful legs and sharp claws gripping the rough bark as he moved higher and higher up the truck of this tall giant. Ethan's eyes followed him intently, his heart swelling with pride and anticipation. This was a moment that would go down in their shared history, and he couldn't wait to see what they would uncover together. Finally, Max reached his destination, a large, pale-looking patch that seemed to be nestled into the thick bark of the tree itself. Ethan tried to observe this object from a distance, but it was unlike anything Ethan had ever seen before and the sheer size of it made him glow with curiosity. Max carefully dug his claws into the tree, eager to uncover its hidden secrets. Ethan's heart raced as he watched Max investigate the object, the excitement of their discovery almost too much to bear. Even for someone like Ethan who had seen his fair share of strange things, he could hear the speculation from their followers growing louder, their anticipation matching his own. Whatever Max found, they all knew it would be something truly extraordinary. As Max continued to dig into the tree, Ethan couldn't help but marvel at the journey they had embarked on together. From the first day they met, Max had proven to be an exceptional dog with an incredible knack for unearthing the most remarkable treasures. And now, as they stood on the precipice of yet another amazing discovery, Ethan knew that their bond was stronger than ever. Max's movements slowed, his nose buried deep in the hole he just made. The dog seemed to understand that he was on the verge of revealing something truly special, and he took his time, ensuring that he didn't damage whatever lay hidden within. And his slow and cautious approach also piqued the curiosity of the followers online, whose numbers already hit a thousand. Ethan held his breath, his eyes never leaving Max as the dog carefully extracted his prize. He knew that no matter what they found, it was the bond they shared and the adventures they had together that truly mattered. This moment, like all the others they had experienced side by side, was a testament to the incredible connection between man and his best friend. As Max finally revealed the hidden treasure within the tree, Ethan could feel the anticipation in the air, the weight of the moment pressing down on him. He knew that this discovery would change everything not just for them but for all those who followed their adventures. But that revelation, that astonishing find that would leave them all in awe, would have to wait. As Ethan hovered his camera over the mysterious object that Max had broken off from the tree, he was struck by its peculiar appearance. It was large, ridged, and pale, unlike anything he had ever seen before. The live feed was filled with wild guesses and suggestions from their followers, but no one seemed to be able to identify it. Max, however, seemed certain that their discovery was significant, because he would not go trough all that trouble for nothing. He had carefully climbed back down the tree and now sat beside the strange object, his eyes locked on Ethan as if urging him to uncover its secrets. Trusting his canine companion's instincts, Ethan decided to take the object home for further investigation. Carefully, he packed the enigmatic item into his backpack and began the trek back to civilization. Max trotted faithfully by his side, his excitement still evident in the way his tail wagged eagerly. As they made their way out of the forest, Ethan's mind raced with possibilities. What could this strange object be and why was it hidden in such an unusual location? Upon returning home, Ethan wasted no time in contacting the experts he had come to know through his many adventures with Max. Over the years, he had built up a network of knowledgeable individuals who were well-equipped to identify and appraise their unusual findings. One by one, he held video calls with them presenting the mysterious object for their inspection. To his surprise, most of the experts were left baffled by the object, unable to provide any insight into its origin or purpose. Ethan's concern grew with each fruitless conversation as he began to wonder if they would ever uncover the truth behind their discovery. However, hope was not lost. One expert, a renowned archaeologist named Dr. Amelia Reyes, was intrigued by the object and its mysterious nature. She asked Ethan and Max to bring it to her workspace so that she could examine it firsthand. Eager for answers, Ethan agreed and together with Max, he set off to meet Dr. Reyes. The journey to Dr. Reyes' workspace was filled with a mixture of excitement and trepidation. As they traveled, Ethan couldn't help but wonder what they might learn from her analysis. He knew that her expertise could hold the key to unlocking the secrets of their enigmatic find-off that day. Finally, they arrived at the spacious, well-equipped workspace of Dr. Amelia Reyes. It was always an exiting day when they got to go there. The walls were lined with shelves containing artifacts and relics from various eras and locations, a testament to her extensive knowledge and experience. Ethan couldn't help but feel a sense of awe as he took in the impressive surroundings. Dr. Reyes greeted them warmly, her eyes sparkling with curiosity as she caught sight of the mysterious object tucked into Ethan's backpack. I've been looking forward to this, she said 
her voice filled with excitement. Let's see if we can solve the mystery of your intriguing find. As Ethan and Max entered Dr. Ray's workspace, they couldn't help but feel a sense of anticipation. They knew that they were on the verge of discovering the truth behind the strange object, and with Dr. Ray's help, they hoped to finally unravel the enigma that had captured their imaginations. And so, they prepared to embark on this new journey of discovery. Ethan, Max, and Dr. Reyes stood on the precipice of something truly remarkable. Together, they would delve into the unknown, eager to unravel the mystery that had brought them together. Dr. Reyes carefully placed the object on her work table, her eyes scrutinizing every detail. She utilized an array of tools and techniques to examine it, taking measurements and documenting her findings meticulously. Ethan and Max watched her work, both equally captivated by her thorough process. Hours passed and Dr. Reyes's investigation finally reached a turning point. Her eyes widened with surprise as she made a critical discovery the object was not a single piece but rather a cocoon-like structure. It was composed of layers, almost bone-like in appearance, encasing a secret hidden within. With Ethan and Max watching intently, Dr. Reyes carefully cut away the outer layers of the hardened cocoon revealing the astonishing secret it held. Inside was the largest butterfly any of them had ever seen, its wings curled up and its body perfectly gray. Even more remarkable, the butterfly appeared to be fossilized, just like the cocoon that encased it. Dr. Reyes estimated the age of the butterfly to be around 500 years old, based on the age of the tree from which it had been found. But it was the butterfly's origin that truly made this discovery extraordinary. Through her research, she determined that this particular butterfly had only lived in Southeast Asia between 500 and 1,000 years ago. At least that was what everybody thought. This meant that they had just uncovered evidence that this extremely rare type of butterfly had a completely different migration area than modern science had ever thought possible. Ethan did not know the significance of that comment just yet. But the implications of their discovery were profound, and soon news of their findings spread like wildfire. Local newspapers questioned Ethan and Max about their remarkable discovery, and scientists from all over the world flocked to their hometown to study the ancient butterfly and ask questions. In response to the overwhelming interest, a fully 3D animated model of the butterfly was created, allowing people to experience its beauty and color in an entirely new way. Ethan and Max's bond, forged through countless adventures and discoveries, had led them to uncover something truly groundbreaking. Their remarkable find would forever change the understanding of this rare butterfly's history and its migration patterns, leaving an indelible mark on the scientific community forever. The duo's extraordinary journey not only brought them closer together but it had also contributed to a deeper understanding of the natural world around us, a legacy that would endure for generations to come.